So Michael Hunter defeats Fabio Maldonado in two rounds. Okay, this was Michael Hunter's first fight since November of last year in which he knocked out uh, Ustinov in seven rounds. This was a heavyweight. Michael Hunter. Michael Hunter is a fighter who I've not really given much kind of time for on this channel, but I have to say, I do rate him. He is very, very talented. He's athletically gifted. He can punch a bit. And his only loss came in a world title fight against Alexander Usek at Cruiserweight. Which, you know, it, if you're only lose, if you're only lost so far as to Usek at Cruiserweight, everyone's lost to Usek at Cruiserweight. That's no shame in that. Michael Hunter is kind of, he's in the heavyweight division now. His last three fights have been a heavyweight against Bacoli, Ustinov, and now this one against Maldonado. Realistically, Michael Hunter is a cruiserweight. Okay, he was 215 pounds in this fight. And in the very first round, you could see it. As soon as Hunter was on his toes, you could see that extra weight in the midsection. He's not grossly overweight or anything like that. But you can tell that if his midsection was a bit tighter and a bit leaner, he'd be cruiserweight. Definitely. But that being said, he wants to stay in the heavyweight division. We'll say for the time being um, and see how he gets on. In this fight against Maldonado, Maldonado fought I believe it was Oscar Rivas the back end of last year and uh, he lost that fight on points and I think he fought another I think it was a prospect of someone he fought and I think that went to points too so Michael Hunter to be getting rid of this guy in two rounds it's a statement to make you know it's a statement of intention that you know he can he can hang with the heavyweights he can bang with them and in the first round Michael Hunter started off reasonably quick but I think towards the end of the round he kind of slowed it down a bit and just kind of filled Malinado away for the rest of the first round Going into the second round, Hunter landed a right hand reasonably early in that round and appeared to buzz Maldonado a bit. Michael Hunter then unleashed the combination and Maldonado went and kind of fell back into the ropes. And in my opinion, the ropes stopped Maldonado from going down. Referee rightly came in, gave Maldonado a count. The Sky commentary team, which was Adam Clark and Paul Smith, to me, they showed their lack of boxing knowledge because they were very, very critical of the referee giving Maldonado a count. And they couldn't understand why a fighter falling into the ropes warranted a count. Well, it that's always been the way. If the if a fighter is going to fall back and fall to the ground and the ropes keep him from going down, which in my opinion they did, referees more than entitled to give him a count. And he gave him a count, and I had no complaints with it. The Sky team had complaints, but again, the Sky commentary team, I just there's often times where I think that they don't know the actual rules of boxing. They just know. They just know the boxers more so than anything else. So referee gave him a count, and then Maldonado went down again from a barrage of punches. It was that was a, a definite knockdown, the second knockdown, and then the third knock. Well, there wasn't actually a third knockdown. The Maldonado was taking a beat, and he was taking a lot of punches, and the referee jumped in and stopped it. To be fair, I don't think Maldonado's heart was necessarily in this fight. I haven't seen it, but never mind that. All talking aside. Michael Hunter still had to go in, get the job done. Um, the one thing this guy commentary team were saying that I agree with them was is that Hunter is at heavyweight now, seeing how he gets on because heavyweight is the place to be at. But they believe that cruiserweight is the place to be at for Michael Hunter. And I have to agree. All them belts have now been vacated, as far as I know, by Alexander Usyk. So there is a great chance of Michael Hunter picking up one of them belts. A great chance because I think that he would definitely beat a lot of the top cruiserweights. Definitely. Because he is very athletic. He can definitely punch a bit. He's skillful. You know, he gave Usyk an awful lot of problems early on when he was fresh in that fight. So, you know, Michael Hunter definitely is a good fighter. And definitely not someone you want to sleep on. So, if Michael Hunter does decide to go down to cruiserweight, I definitely think that he has, definitely has the potential to win one of the world titles down there. Definitely. You know, whether it be WBA or whatever. I definitely think that Michael Hunter at cruiserweight can win a world title. He did say that he wanted AJ after this fight, and he was one of the names kind of thrown around there when Drell Miller failed his drugs test. Michael Hunter, he definitely come to fight if he fought AJ. He come to fight and he would not lay down. But would he beat AJ? I think that the size advantage for AJ would be just that bit too great for Hunter. Um, and I just don't think... I think that Hunter is good against guys like this and against guys like Bacoli. Um... Alexander Ustinov, very slow, very stationary target. But against someone like Andy Joshua, no, I don't see that going well for uh, Michael Hunter. Let me know what you guys think down below. Did you see this fight? What do you think of Michael Hunter's performance? 
Do you think you drop back down to cruiserweight like myself? Because I think that there's a world title to be won down there. At heavyweight against guys like AJ, I think they're just a bit too big. I think that they're called the land of the giants for a reason. And I think that guys like AJ Fury, they're just that bit too big for Michael Hunter. Michael Hunter, again, taking all credit aside, all talking aside, Michael Hunter, credit for the win, good performance. Wish him all the best. And uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on this. Let me know what you think down below. Leave your thoughts down below. Like the video if you liked it. If you're new to the channel, as always, hit subscribe. And of course, I will talk to you after.